Hello everyone, welcome to my new channel. This is Siphon787, aka Gunfire787, and I have made this video a long time ago and got a lot of views, but for the new channel, I decided to make an update video. So you're here because you want to get uh, the um, Enhanced PlayStation 1 Emulator. And this is the configuration guide, the installation guide, and um, as well as uh, playing it too. And um, I'm also going to do a tutorial for the quicker and much easier emulator, but it is not enhanced. In other words, this emulator is to play around. So, um, let's get started. So you can see it's already there, but for the purpose of this video, this doesn't exist. Um, that doesn't exist here. So, First, go ahead and wherever you want to, right click and make a new folder and call it whatever you want. For this purpose, PSX Emu. Now, I already have a lot of stuff already, so to save time on the video, I won't necessarily download them, but I'll give you um, links, description, and annunciations, everything you need. Now, once you've got your folder, your next step is to go to the internet. Do, 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 do. And then you can go wherever you want to. But first, we're going to go to I don't know. I like emulator. Whoops, can't spell it right. Emulator still can't spell. Zone. All right, whatever the emulator zone. All right, it doesn't matter. You can just search E P S X E whatever. Then you're gonna go find the Sony PlayStation. And here are plenty of emulators that are great. Your best bet is EPSXE, and I think this one is it, PSX, one of them is PSX fin, but whatever, we're doing this one. Okay, and you can go ahead and download the 1.70 version, that's the latest, just get that one. Okay, um, now you're going to download it and put it on your desktop or save it to the folder here. Um, you're also going to need the program WinRAR, so I'll give you a link in the description before that so you can see this. This is just a RAR or a zip folder, and all you have to do is click it and extract everything that you need. Da -da -da -da. So see, there, everything's extracted. Okay, I can get rid of that. Now, you need to get a BIOS, you see your BIOS folder, you need to get the BIOS. I'll put a link on where you can get that here in the center. Should be somewhere here. So you can just click it and go. Just get the BIOS, put it in here. And you need a plugins pack. I'll go ahead and I'll do that so I can show you what to do because that's a little bit more. And that's all you need. Um you can create games folder here, whatever if you want to. So I'm going to go into my original BIOS, and it's just going to look like this, actually. It's going to say SCPH110, so it's going to look like this. That is your BIOS, SCPH1001. You're going to put that, so I'm just going to copy. Don't. This is just me. This is, doesn't include you. Um, there you go. So after you downloaded it and put the BIOS here, um, go back and you need plugins. So we're going back to Google and we're going to search. Let's see Google. We're going to search EPSXE plugins. Whoops. There you go. Plugins pack and this one. Which that'll also be in the link in the description. Scroll down and you're going to get let's see is it mm -mm 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 -mm. I probably passed it. Ah, right here. This right here. You need to get look for this. But I'm highlighting that. Right here. So I'll post the link of that in the description. Now I'm going to just go ahead and download and install it and then I'm going to erase all of it already. But for the purpose of this video, this is your next step. 
Then you do the same thing as you did for the BIOS. Once it's done, you put it in here and, ex and extract. So we're just going to wait for five seconds or six. Nope, now it's five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, it's done. Okay, and then you right click it um, and then extract here. You should get a setup file. Blink. Now, follow this part very carefully. You want to double click the plugin install. There should be a wizard coming up any second. Yes, if your computer asks. Now, before you do anything, it's going to ask you destination folder. Mine says the C drive uses Malave desktop new folder plugin. So it is already located in my plugins folder. You need to browse and pick where the new folder or the emulator folder you created and put it in the plugins folder. Once you check that out, click install and you will get a lot of plugins. You can get more updated plug plugins on the internet, just search. But this is the easiest, fastest way. Okay. Um that's gonna say just hit cancel. So yeah. See I didn't do it correctly. But that's okay. It went to the new folder in here, so all I have to do is just put it back. So I made a mistake, no problem. Just make sure that it's installed in your plugins folder. So I'm just moving the the items in into the folder. I just skip if it asks that it's already um, been replaced or whatever. I just don't replace any. Okay, so this is your plugins folder. So you should have your BIOS and your plugins. And you need one more thing. You need a Zlib driver. And I'm going to post the link here somewhere in the description too. Once you click the link, go ahead and put it the Zlib driver here so I already have a um, copy of my own so I'm going to go back and I'm going to just copy you also need a win in ASP 132 driver if it asks you if it does then I also put a link to the description for both of these or if I'm not lazy enough I will upload them both and put a link there so I might just do that instead Never mind, the computer. Paste. Okay, so review. You have your BIOS, which is SCPH1001. You have your plugins folder filled out with tons of plugins from the plugins install wizard. And you have your Zlib driver and your Win S, whatever. You have that. Okay. Now here comes the semi easy part. You just click on EPSXE and the first time you run it it's going to do a configure wizard guide it's going to be like welcome this 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 you're going to hit config and it's going to ask you for your bios make sure that's highlighted it says usa recommended you can put japanese uh... Your, it doesn't really matter just make sure one of them is selected next then you'll choose your video um... graphics gpu which is one of the most important things and the easiest thing to fix a problem when you just can't get a game to work or see or hear anything Here's one of the reasons. If your computer isn't really up to par, if you have a Windows 7 which you don't have a video card or your computer is not on crack with power, my best recommendation for enhanced graphics and coolness looking, I would I would suggest using Pete's D3D driver 1.77, the best. You click it. You can hit if your computer is really strong, then you would hit open GL2. These peats are the best drivers for uh, configuring video. So for this example we're going to use peats D3D driver. You hit config and pay attention to this. For the first time you can just click fast or nice. Normally the best settings people have forms on how to do it best. If you want exact PS1 like presentation and I would hit fast but your best bet is with the other PlayStation emulator for perfect original emulation now if you want enhanced 
I would suggest um, just putting don't care for texture quality you can choose full screen or window mode and your resolution pick a native resolution don't pick a widescreen resolution for a PlayStation 1 game just because it's not gonna work really good color depth 32 high res I hit none none texture filtering none now here's a uh, one you could do um, for off screen drawing just hit minimum advanced blending frame buffer you need emulated VRAM effects V F V P that kind of slows it down but it emulates everything as well as number four so one zero zero four and right now you should pause the video so you can get a look and just configure it the way you want to the way it works for your computer then you hit OK and next audio should be or not should be this just go ahead and you can configure that or whatever just hit next if you can't hear it go back and then just hit next okay your controller or a keyboard if you're gonna use one I'm gonna use my controller so um, you can see that the controller uh, you can just right now it's set to my controls like my uh, PS3 controller to the computer if you wanna know how to get a PS3 controller to work there will be a link somewhere in here I'll put it to my video I'm showing you how so that's the control so I'm gonna put the controller in and um, yeah I need to turn it on uh, okay well I'm gonna hit OK for that and then next and then done that's all you do so for my controller to work I'm going to hit apparently nothing because it isn't here I thought it would be oh there it is you don't have to do this this is something I'm doing extra this is just the controller enable minimize okay all right now you have successfully configured the EPSXE emulator. All you have to do now is, for example, if you have a game, an original PS1 game, test it, put it in your CD drive, or if you have an ISO file. I'll also make another video, um, a remake of how the ISO file works. So first of all, I have a certain amount of ISO files in a folder already located in my uh, computer and here are my ISO bin Q files these are games that I own and I made them into an ISO what you're gonna do is check the directory and know where it's at and then you click for the emulator file either run CD or run ISO so we're gonna select run ISO and we're going to do I don't know just for this thing Dragon Ball Z I'm not sure if if it is recording the whole thing, the whole full screen. If it's not, I, I apologize. But that's all you do to play. So um, thanks for watching, and, and uh, please like the video. If you want more or anything, ask questions, please ask. One more thing to end the emulator. You want to press Escape. Once you press es escape, you'll the emulator will come back, but I would go to file and hit exit. Just if you want to reset it, if you want to do nothing, because this usually happens. Yes, I know there's a fix, but it's just easier for me to hit escape and then exit, and that's it. It's done. So, um, anyways, thank you very much for watching.